indeed. Remember, there was a field of 29 archers that started. And uh, we have the fifth and the third seeds coming through to the final. Park the fifth semi-final win over Salve, who we've just seen beaten in the bronze medal match. And uh, so Park needed to go dead centre there to win that. So well done to her. Her other wins were a couple of tight ones too, one-pointers. So this is going to be interesting. The signee to go first. Another young Indian coming through the system. She's just 17. And speaking of youngsters, Vanessa Park is only 18. Oh my goodness, you know, this makes me so jealous. Uh, they always say the youth, youth is wasted on the young. Um, they, what a future both of these archers have ahead of them. Um, it was an interesting shot from Puck right there. It went quite high in the eight. Uh, we'll have to see if she can... Oh, okay, and maybe the damage wasn't that bad. It's always when you... I was talking about how you can't control what your opponent does, but when they do something like that and drop an eight after you shoot an eight, you do feel a sense of relief. Oh. Well, there must be some nerves at play, you'd think, with uh, both of these archers fairly, fairly inexperienced at this level. Rain's falling, gold medal at stake, it all adds up, but Siney's settled nicely. And there's a second 10 for her. She's going to lock in 28 out of 30 in the first end. Park needs a 10 here to stay in touch. No. Doesn't quite get there. So a two-point deficit for the Korean after the first end. Yeah, and you, you could see from that last arrow that she knew exactly where it was going. Probably her sight was dipping a bit low. Um, you know, you never hold completely still at full draw. You're always kind of drift. Shooting a match like this, a gold medal match, it's a finals. You know, everything that you've worked towards has come to this moment. Can you settle your nerves and come out, you know, tr like as soon as you're out the gates? That's what's going to set apart the winner and the loser here. You got to just come out ready to shoot tens. Longer hold that time from Park just to start the second end, and she's still not able to score a 10 just yet. Yeah, she looks very Sine settled in. You can to tell just why she's... Exactly, exactly. She looks very confident. Finally, a there 10 go. there for Park. It's taken five arrows. And without a doubt, Siony's dialed in. I wonder if Park can really trust that previous shot and just recreate it right now. There we go. Oh, she's going to lock in 55. Siony can extend that lead by another point with another 10. And look at those groupings of arrows there. She looks really good at the moment, Siony. 30 from 30. Just trust your training. you got to trust your process and just let yourself execute it. I tell you what, it's really nice to see Park just sharing a joke there or a relaxed conversation with her coach there. That, uh, I think, I got, is going to help in that aspect. Such an important part of the sport, dealing with when you're not shooting. Because there's a lot of downtime in competition. Yeah, exactly. And these coaches need to know their archers so well. You know, maybe maybe previously Cho didn't like to joke around and she wasn't that type of archer. But they need to know what these archers need at a given time and help calm their nerves. Well, Park's maybe certainly looking just more helps. comfortable on the... Yeah, looking more shooting, uh, comfortable rather on the shooter line now. It's three tens in a row for her. No. And there's Siney just missing one. They're first in... Five arrows. You can see some wobbling in her arm. It's almost like she's losing some tension there, but I'm happy to see that she's enjoying herself and seems to have calmed down a bit. 
Whereas with Sione, look at that bow arm, so solid, continues to push towards the target, but is now opening the door for Pack a little bit. Yeah, just those last two, just the drifting left for Sione. No adjustments to a bow required. Oh, only just missing just out. the perfect score there. <laughs> 29, but she is going to take a, or uh, well, she's going to cut that deficit by at least one. And it will be just one, because Sony comes back with a maximum. That's the arrows. Well, it was a three-point deficit after two ends. Now it's just two. Parker begins the long haul back after a, a low-scoring start to this, to this gold medal match, and that isn't going to help. No. longer holding. There's Again. another one left, Vanessa. Interesting. Yep. Yeah, so what makes the arrow go left? There's a couple of things. Um, if you're maybe aiming to the left, of course. If your arm starts drifting to the left. But I wouldn't think it's that necessarily no. because it's so consistent. Um, it could also be that her, her arm tension is, you know, constantly going towards the left as she's breaking maybe she's putting too much pressure and breaking so her arm drifts towards to the left um, an arrow could be shot quite strong with a lot of force uh causing it maybe to go to the left you need some good balance and um what she's doing right there was moving her sight because maybe her roof was quite good but just going to the left oh, park hasn't been able to get a 10 in that end that's disappointing for her so Sione with the last arrow of the fourth end now. Looking to perhaps build that lead up to four points. And she's done so brilliantly. Yes. But she's going to give it her best. Let's see if that can happen. That's better. She needs three of those in this end to have any chance. And she's going to need Sine to drop her level just a touch too. Let's see if she can handle the pressure here in this last end. Doing her best to try and catch up. Sony now, very important arrow for her. No. Oh, down it goes. So, this is interesting. It's still a two-point advantage for Sony. Last arrow of the match. No. Oh, Puck just couldn't nail that 10. So, Sony for the win needs an eight or higher. she wins brilliantly putting it right in the middle of the x zone that's brilliant what a finish from kumutsaini the 17 year old indian and she is the winner of the compound women gold medal match here at the asia cup in suwon for 2024 and finally we get to see some emotion on her face that's quite an achievement for her vanessa yeah what i love to see about her shooting was that it was